Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Kill and Cook. Today we are in Idaho. It's our first out of state video. Um, and we kind of have a little something different today. We're trying to catch a variety of fish and then kind of do fish and chips tonight and compare and try to see which one we like the best. Uh, so this lake actually has northern pike on it, which we grew up fishing a lot up in Canada in the summers. Um, but we haven't caught a northern pike in, I mean, 10, 15 years. So our first goal is to get a northern pike. And then uh, once we do that, maybe go after some bass or crappie or, or bluegill so we can kind of do a taste test with some other fish. So Cole, what are you going to start with here? Starting with this little silver Rapala here. Yeah. Okay, and I am starting with this Red Devil Lure. Um, I Again, I haven't fished pike here. We used to do it as a kid up in Canada, and we caught, I've, I mean, I've literally caught hundreds of pike on this Red Devil Lure. So I'm gonna see if it, if it works here, like it used to work there. Uh, so stay tuned, we'll see. All right guys, first cast in this spot, we found a really cool area. We're kind of tucked in here with a lot of vegetation all around us, so if there's anything here, there should at least be some bass. First cast. something here. Crappie! Sweet. We've gone after these a lot in past videos. I haven't found any. Um, so that's cool to catch a crappie. He's really small and it's beginning of the day so I'm gonna throw him back but we got a crappie. Sweet. Missed him. I think it's a bass. Alright guys. Got a bass here. He's not a big bass. Lure. This is what I caught the bass with, a little trout lure. It's actually going for pike, but I guess the bass liked it too, so it's fine with us. All right, so I got a bluegill here, and it is a very large bluegill. Um, and these are actually really good eating, they're just small, but for a bluegill, that's big. So I think I kind of located them, I know where they're at now. So I'm going to actually just catch a few of these so we have to fry them up later. So, I'll catch a few more. Yeah, it feels pretty small. Little bluegill. Another decent size for bluegill. I'll keep one or two more. I'll keep one or two more of these guys for the frying pan. Oh. You're right, that is a good fish absolute monster that got me tangled up in the weeds. Little bass. Well, the bass are biting this little crappie bobber setup, but not gonna complain, he's tiny though, so he'll go back. That's a big bluegill. That's a nice bluegill. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, pokey. <laughs> there we go, guys. My first fish of the day, I was starting to think Maybe I had faulty equipment because Hunter was catching everything and I didn't catch nothing, but 
It's a nice little bluegill. I think I will keep him. Little bass. Um, I caught him on this perch colored Ned rig here. We have enough bass, so I'll let him go. Oh, I thought you were. Hey! Little bassy bass. Bad. Nice little bass here, caught with the blackjack lure that we were trolling with. Oh, Hunter's got something. This one feels decent. Not too big. All right, guys. It's like our fifth or sixth bass today, which is nice to actually get into some bass today. No giants, but. All right, guys. Well, we just finished catching a few bass here by these rocks, and um, we are going to head home. So we have probably 15 minutes to get back to the dock, and we're going to troll for pike again. I'm going to go back to the old Canadian classic and troll with this, and Cole has a, a black devil lure on, so we will uh, troll and maybe get a pike on our way back. Okay, guys. Well, we are back home from our day. As you can see, we kept a couple bass and a few bluegill because we want to see which one tastes better. So I'm gonna just fillet these up and we're gonna get some beer batter going and maybe some fries too so we can do real fish and chips and then we'll do a taste test. Alright guys, so Hunter got our fish filleted up and we are ready to start cooking. So what we have right here is a batter that we mixed up. Um, it is flour, baking powder, milk, water, Cajun spice, salt, pepper, and am I missing anything? Frank's Red Hot Frank's sauce. Red Hot Sauce, a little bit of that in there. Um, got a plate of flour here, our filleted fish, uh, but first we're going to... Um, throw in some fries. We didn't even cut these potatoes up. We got them from a bag, but we're gonna deep fry some fries because we're frying fish, so we might as well fry other stuff too. So Absolutely. we're gonna start these because they'll take a little longer and get the fish going in the batter. All right, so I'm gonna mix up a little fry sauce. We're just gonna use ketchup and then that same sriracha mayo that we've used in the past couple of videos. We love it. It is. It is tasty. Okay. It's pretty tasty. Sure, so we got our fries cooked up. They're in the oven, keeping them warm. And now we are gonna put our first bass filet in there. Say they're hot. Okay guys, we have a tr special treat here. This is actually an egg sack from bass. So this is caviar, and we are gonna f deep fry some bass fish eggs and try them. All 
All right, guys, we are done. We have our bass, our bluegill, our fries, and our sauce. So um, my guess is that I'll like the bluegill more. So we should try the bass first. Yep, let's do it. <clears throat> I guess try it first without any sauce yeah. or anything. Yeah. That's pretty good. That is pretty tasty. I like that. That batter turned out really good. Maybe the maybe the bass will win. Yeah. Holy cow. It's good. That is extremely tasty. Alright, let's do a do a tester here. The bass is a little, ooh, that's the fish eggs. I'm not ready to try those. <laughs> bass is a little bit softer. I like, I generally like it a little bit crunchier. So I'm gonna yeah, see what the bluegill tastes like here. The bass was very tender, so. Oh yeah. Yep. That's the winner. Bluegill is way better. It's just, it's, it's steakier. It's more like, um, I don't know, meaty, yeah. chewy, better texture. That's excellent. Yeah, so if you want some good fish and chips, not a lot of meat on these guys, but just get a bunch of them. They're easy to catch and- They taste very good. They have an awesome fish fry. Oh yeah, those are good. Wow. We've been eating the fries the whole time because we're hungry and they're in, obviously, they're, they're fries and oil, so they're yeah. really, they're good. We've had snacks throughout the day, but we still haven't had a meal, and it is probably about 8 p.m., somewhere around there, so yeah. this is fantastic. I don't think we're actually going to be able to eat all the bass, but maybe. It's a lot of food. All right. Should, you, should we try the eggs? These are bass eggs. And it looks disgusting. I mean, we both eat sushi, so we eat raw eggs all the time. But this just seems different. Yeah, I mean, it looks terrible. It looks disgusting, but. We're gonna try it. Definitely doing sauce. Oh no, that's good. Hmm. It's not amazing, but it's not like gross. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's Interesting. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. It's I not bad. There's a lot of weird flavors going on, though. I'm not gonna cook it again, but yeah, I'm not gonna like throw up. I definitely just prefer the um, raw fish on my sushi, though. Oh yeah. Yep. I, I won't be eating that again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad. It was though. bearable. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for watching Kill and Cook. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bluegill. Cole's gonna finish the bass. I will do my best, that's for sure. It was definitely a good day, fun day on the lake, great food. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, subscribe, share, like, comment, all that helps out a bunch. Thanks, guys, see ya. All right, guys, just kidding. Cole's an announcement to make. I think I like the bass better. After eating it for a little bit, I prefer it. So there you go. I I do like it, but I still prefer the bluegill. So is what it is. Next time we're gonna catch some northern pike. That's what I really want to try and taste it against some yeah. of this stuff. Mm-hmm. So we'll try northern pike again. See ya.